briefly explain each of these, uh, Dr. Jimenez? Yes, just to touch well, based on some of the liposarcomas, I would say are the most common types of sarcomas. Those are uh, arising from the fatty tissues. And uh, as I mentioned, they can happen in the thigh, they can happen in the back of the abdomen, the, mm -hmm. the retroperitoneum, but in many other places, anywhere really. Right. Um, synovial sarcomas are sarcomas arising from the lining of your joints, so the joint capsule, whether it be the knee or it be, you know, uh, wrist, uh, uh, the shoulder, etc. Those actually can have very aggressive behavior and outcomes are still not the best. Right. Angiosarcomas are sarcomas arising from blood vessels or lymphatic channels. You can see that in the setting of having had prior radiation treatment for something else like Hodgkin's lymphoma. Mm -hmm. uh, but you can see that also in people who have a swollen extremity, something called lymphedema. If you have a chronically swollen extremity, whether it be the leg or the arm, that chronic swelling can lead to the formation of these angiosarcomas. Fibrosarcomas are sarcomas that occur from the fibroblasts, which you are the cells. You saw that one in the video. Yes, and mm -hmm. they and they those are the cells that make collagen, your connective tissue itself. Right. Um, and finally, the the gists that you see in the bottom Which are the ones the one you mentioned. that I mentioned in the stomach, but they can happen in other organs too, like the rectum and the small bowel and even the fatty tissues in the belly. Are there risk factors or causes that might lead to sarcoma? Yes. So as I mentioned, um, two of the most common risk factors for sarcoma are prior radiation treatment. Um, and, and as an example, I will tell you, you know, one of the most common uses of radiation is breast cancer treatment. So a lot of women who have had radiation for breast cancer treatment now have a low chance. I mean, it's not common, but there is a low chance that they can develop a sarcoma because of the prior radiation treatment. But you can also see that in patients who had radiation for other diseases, as I mentioned, such as Hodgkin's lymphoma. Mm -hmm. um, but the, the lymphedema story that I mentioned uh, relates to Many people have their lymph nodes removed for treatment of other diseases, right. for example, breast cancer or melanoma. Mm -hmm. um, and when you remove all the lymph nodes, there's a 10 to 15 percent chance that your extremity becomes cr chronically swollen. That's called lymphedema. Mm -hmm. And when you have those changes in your body, you are at a higher risk of having sarcoma than the general population. Mm -hmm.